This 15 year old police report from Shawnee PD shows a narrative of a victim accusing that coach of inappropriate behavior. Shawnee Public Schools at the time said they handled it in house. And that was where justice was denied. Which is why Senator Shane Jett is calling on AG O'Connor for a multi county grand jury investigation into former Shawnee coach Ronald Arthur. There was no charges brought against the allegations in 2007, which there should have been. As to why there wasn't, we don't know. Arthur is charged with rape, sodomy, and soliciting sexual contact with a minor. Those charges from 2021. I started getting phone calls from people in my district who began to share with me that this wasn't a first offense, it wasn't a second, it was multiple offenses that spread over a 15 year period. KOCO5 dug into those allegations and we found documents to back up the claims, including years of allegations. Jet says Arthur remained on staff despite allegations being brought to teachers and school board members. You're a mandatory reporter as a teacher to report any kind of sexual abuse, child abuse. Lead investigator in this case, Amber Soul, says the Shawnee School District failed to do so, starting with the first reported victim that we know of. I am a victim of Ron Arthur. Rob Hare publicly sharing his story, hoping to bring light to what happened. 15 years ago, my family and I went through what we thought were the proper channels to report this. There were people in a system that kept him in power to abuse others. Investigators also say Arthur has been employed in numerous school districts, possibly leaving a trail of victims. He to me, seemed like he was untouchable. The Shawnee School District tells me in a statement, we take the responsibility of providing a safe environment for students very seriously. It goes on to say preliminary proceedings are to begin in a few weeks, and we hope to be able to provide further clarification in the future. And we've reached out to those other districts Arthur was employed at to see if he had any other complaints during that 15 year time span. We're still waiting to hear back, but we will keep you updated on this investigation in Oklahoma City. Megan Mosley, KOCO 5 News.